Hey guys, just another quick video to show you how in your HP Tuner scanner you could add a, 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 a torque reading and convert that to a horsepower reading. And what you could do with this is just general tuning. You could graph these just to, to see where you can pick up horsepower as far as your timing and your advance or uh, retard or if you're adding boost or decreasing boost or just you know overall just tuning uh, you can use these two to uh, see pickups and horsepower now they're not 100% accurate and there's a good reason for that I would, I would assume that the sensor that's being used in, is in the transmission and it's from what I understand the actual sensor that is being used is part of the torque management system that, uh, that's with these LS engines so that being said you know don't go out on Front Street and tell everybody, yeah, I have 584 you know, horsepower, 506 pounds of torque. Chances are you have quite a bit less. Uh, the difference, I don't know. But regardless, you can still use this as a tuning aid to see when you're picking up horsepower and when you're picking up torque. Okay, so to start with, uh, to do this as a graph, you go to right-click your charts layout. And you want to add... A series here I labeled it torque and the perimeter is engine torque and it's in sensors so in other words this is another one a second one I'm just doing to show you guys click to insert we're gonna to go to sensors here engine load and torque engine torque okay unit you want to use foot pounds decimals that's up to you at zero I just rather round up to the whole number max 1,000 because who doesn't want a thousand foot-pounds of torque minimum is zero and that's about it everything else is you know, whatever color you want okay that takes care of the torque now the horsepower is basically just a calculation based off that torque and there's a, a custom math to do that uh, so what you do is you go back to charts layout you want to add another series. Uh, in this case, where is she at? Horsepower. There it is. Label it whatever you want. Horsepower. The perimeter is a user math. In other words, you have to create this math similar to uh, to what I've showed you in some of my other videos. Decimals. So I'm going to show you what math to uh, create. So I'll close that out. Go over to tools math perimeters do a user math here's mine right here for horsepower name it abbreviate it in the notes i put it's rpm times torque divided by 5252 that's your classic formula for converting torque to horsepower uh, you want to understand that's just how it works uh, that's horsepower is just a calculation based off the torque so here's the actual math expression. You have uh, 50070 is your e engine speed sensor, uh, RPMs. 50108.127 is your engine torque sensor. And there you go. That's the actual uh, calculation for horsepower. So you may put this data, and I'll also put this in the notes below and put that data into your math table close it out go back to your charts layout go to the one you labeled horsepower perimeter and go to user defined when you're under your maths maths user defined and use one called horsepower there you go and that should be set up and good to go put whatever color you want he limits 800 because yeah you know on this gen 3 ls motor i doubt i'll ever touch that with it with the rods it has in it so who cares close that out and then you should have something like this just depending on how you set it up or pretty what and press play and you'll see that it's calculating the torque based off the torque sensor. Uh, I assume it's in the transmission. I, I don't know where else it would be. 
and even that's a whopping 29 horsepower at idle and you see you have 16 horsepower take it up to a boost run as it all increases and it's kind of hard to see I think probably the thing to do is actually put these two in a uh, series by themselves and you can actually watch your horsepower and torque curve similar to what you would have on a dyno and uh, see where they max out and as you can see here uh, in this particular case we're at about 530 okay you could actually watch where they cross over so anyways play with that you know use that to tune just whatever you feel like doing with it once again uh, thank you for watching